Stories of domestic violence against men are often kept behind closed doors. Get out of my house! How are you going to threaten me in my house? You were heard on 911 threatening bodily harm to him. No. If that's how you want to treat me, you're doing a horrible job. But in these four intriguing cases of men who were saved from abusive women, the police got involved. On June 4th, 2023, police responded to a domestic violence call. A frightened husband had locked himself in the bedroom, fearing the threats from his wife, identified as 38-year-old Tamara. Police arrived at the residence. However, nobody responded to their calls to open the door. Did they have a back door or anything at the wall? He's advising all the doors I locked. After much waiting, the officers decided to forcibly enter the home. I guess we're gonna break his front door. Man. Yep. You may get it. Get out here now! This is my your hands no. right now! Get down here! Well, I have nothing wrong. So you guys can't take me to jail for arguing. I own this house, and I have a right to get on the door. Yeah. If you run the right to me, I'll have none. What's the problem? I have a criminal case. Well, so I didn't feel the need to bring you guys into a problem when there is not a problem. Well, apparently the problem is you're in the cold. No, the problem is, is he does not know how to admit that he's wrong. He doesn't know how to admit that he cheated on me for so long and he wants me to get over it. Okay. The husband discussed their recurring problems, indicating that these issues had persisted for much longer than just that day. He mentioned that his wife wasn't taking her medication properly and her angry outbursts. So what's going on? Well, you guys can see in reports that this has happened multiple times. Yeah. She, uh, she takes no medication. And when she don't take it, she becomes that. Now, We've been going through this, and I've learned, like, here, let me show you guys something. This had a two-by-four through it. There's one on that side, too. It happened yesterday. I called the police down in Clinton County because she was losing her. And this is all over. Me and her had a thing with her friend 20 years ago. That relationship ended. Mm -hmm. It's all, I mean, whatever. Obviously, since she's passed away. <laughs> but she gets triggered and thinks of thoughts and then goes nuts over it. Well, that's kind of hard to do when you won't even let me have a conversation with you, when you just continuously walk away from me. I didn't do nothing wrong. You guys are crazy. I swear to God, I won't get a fuck And nothing you guys did justifies breaking my down. I mean, just because I didn't answer the door doesn't mean you guys have the right to fuck it down. Nobody's in danger. He wasn't me and or beating on. I said, hey, this crazy, blah, blah, blah. They gave me a ride home. She wasn't here. So I was like, well, let me get my truck and leave, and she can have the you know, place, whatever. I'm gone. So I left. It's about, I think it was six or seven. I got cameras in the house. I looked at my camera. She went home. So I'm like, she's probably going to stay gone. So I came home last night. That dog stayed here. I woke up this morning. She's on the couch. So last night, she was talking to me like she was cool. Everything was calmed down. I thought maybe she took her medicine. So I didn't think it was too big of a deal this morning. Now, it all I came right up real quick, slept two by four in, and stayed in there for an hour, listening to her threatening me, yelling at me, calling me everything. Book. And I even told her I, twice, you know, fake it out. I'm going to call the police. I tried to even fake talking like I was talking to someone. Didn't work. Seth kept doing it, trying to beat the door down. And I knew what was going to happen when she got in there. She was going to be violent with me or want to be violent, scream in my face, right. whatever else. She needs to be put somewhere and get her medicines right or maybe even talk to her to figure out what really. I mean, there's something deeper inside. There's got to be. She wouldn't like us forever. Like, how the hell's two years out of 20 years? She just loses. All right, we're going to step over this curb, so, okay? This ain't even How the f*** are you going to come arrest me when I've not done anything wrong? That's my house. I should have the right to do that. I pay for it. 
I feel like I have gave him 20 years of my life and remained faithful to him. And he can't even justify having a five minute conversation with me. That's true. That I don't owe, my, he don't owe me that. Mm -hmm. After 20 years of being faithful to somebody, that's not cool. And I have never right While the couple was separately talking to the police, both of them had their own narrative of why things were the way they were between them. Can we get my phone, please? Am I going to jail? I don't know what's going on yet. I just got here. I swear to God, I've not done anything wrong. I had beat on the door. Yes, I did. Because I wanted him to answer me. But he won't answer me so I can just move on with my life. It's for him to just tell me that he never loved me. Just be honest. Why? Why hide from me? Hiding isn't going to make anything better. Running from your problems don't make any of them better. I mean, it's seven or eight medicines. Last year or two years ago, they changed her to lithium. That really up. She went nuts as stuff. Hearing stuff, she sat in that bed, was talking to people, that's telling me that my son walked by the door and left with some people. He was in his room sleeping. She did believe she got and I still was 50-50 on that because she's mental, but hey, didn't happen. So I didn't say it was 100%, but I didn't say I didn't believe her either. My medicine had nothing to do with any of this. It had to do with the fact that he always runs away and hangs up on me. He can never just have a conversation with me. It's always got to be something stupid, childish, putting his fingers in his ears, blah, blah, blah on me, threatening me with the police, or hiding from me. Like, none of this is even I've not done anything wrong, but try to have a simple conversation. I don't know what to do. So, I'm seeing damage and chips on this door. Is that old or is that new? Just leave everything where it is so we can photograph it. Um, also, if you if you did have that two by four through the door, mm -hmm. we're gonna need to photograph all the measures you took to to bar the door. The knife that she was threatening you with. Do you never know, seen it. Do you know? You never seen it? Nope. I told the lady on the phone that I never okay. seen a knife. I was in there. So, as the husband gave the police details of the ongoing abuse, it was also discovered that his wife had also made terrifying threats to his life. She said, "You can come out of this room. I'm gonna have you." And then she <laughs> kept saying different stuff like, "I'll." As soon as you come to go on the cops on okay. me, but she's mad. So you never saw a knife? No, never seen no weapons. I don't know she if she had me. a specific one of mine. Are I there any it. knives available to well, her? Kitchen. kitchen. There's okay. always knives in the kitchen. Okay. So, but see, like my guns are in that safe. She don't have the password or a key. Well, yes, I don't trust that stuff. And actually, that's why I got the safe, to be honest with you. Because she was getting a little weird. But then it just got worse and worse like today. Has she harmed you before? Oh, well, yeah, that, that, those were police reports. There was cuts and stuff. I even got in trouble for fighting back because, you know, two people fighting, you both get in trouble. But, you know, after you get hit for three different times calling the cops. What started today? Same thing. She thinks about this girl. Her name was Marcia. 20 years ago, we had a thing with her, I had like a throuple thing, like three people. Okay, that ended anyway. So that's about five, 15 years ago it ended. I've done too much for years of my life because he didn't want to be with me i almost died to give birth to our son and i feel like i had a stroke i swear to god i've been talking weird voices all weird i think i had a stroke and what really sucks is he didn't even have the common courtesy to open the door and see if i was even okay and all of a sudden i was trying to have a conversation with him and i started like slurring my words like i'm drunk almost and just let it me because what's the point the person I've dedicated my whole entire life to and stayed faithful for and have done everything and been there for him and forgave him for cheating on me. Are you feeling any type of uh, limb numbness? I, I just feel, I don't know. Okay. You take any I feel like I've been taken advantage of and I feel like I'm in the wrong again. He makes me look like I'm crazy. Do you take any medication? Yeah. Stomach medicine, um, mental health medicine. What I'm are like you diagnosed with? Bipolar. I've got major depressive disorder. Any change um, in your medication recently? All I was doing, I came home this morning after he argued with me yesterday and wouldn't have a conversation with me. Finally, I got him to talk to me last night. And he listened and acted like he cared and understood my feelings and validated that I wasn't just feeling this way and making things up just to be mad at him or just to make his life I get that. I've apologized about this. I said sorry so many times. There was even weeks, like months. Every Friday when I came from work, I'm sorry for anything I did to hurt you because I feel like because it's causing her to be nuts. But now I can't fix it. So I don't know what to do. How do you get someone like put in a psych ward to get tested? And I was trying to explain to him how everything that he says to me 
and does to me, or has said to me over the past 20 years, makes me feel like he didn't ever love me, that I was only there because he didn't want his son to grow up without a mom and dad. You just run away and threaten me with cops all the time and act like a child. That's what I deserve. That's the kind of respect I get for being dedicated to somebody and never doing anything wrong. While Tamara tried to justify that she had done nothing wrong, the man, on the other hand, showed the officers a recording of one of her violent outbursts. Do you have any recordings of what she was saying to you today? Uh, I today, did, but you really can't hear it. You can, you can see her beating on the door. Take any video, you're going to need to send to Deputy Snell. Okay. Her trying to break down the door. Yeah, I can see the door not moving. But all in during it, she's doing threats and stuff. You just don't hear it clear. Well, we, we have dispatch recordings too that we can get. And then his friend told me, well, he's cheating on you. And I'm, well, again, he's cheating on me again. It never stopped is what he said to me. It never stopped for 16 years. He continued to hurt me. And I never found out about it. And this all happened because I was by that next neighbor there. And the trauma caused all these memories to come back. The stuff that I did forgive him for. I did forgive him for having an affair with her. But at the time I forgave him for it, I didn't know that it was still going to happen. And then it still continued to go on, even when he moved me two hours away to make sure that I could never find her at his job site. We had discussed it multiple times. He's racist as hell. And not even have the common courtesy to tell me, no, Tamara, I didn't love you, or no, your feelings are valid. You have a right to be mad. At least we got here and nothing, at least everybody's safe. Start on so, yeah, start on one of those. I'm sure door. you're familiar. Yes, unfortunately, I am. But you said you want us to break it in, so we did. Well, I mean, what do I do? She, <laughs> yeah, she we didn't have any choice. I mean, that's the only way we could get it. I, I could hear her yelling at you and beating on the door, so. You don't have any injuries? She didn't hit you or anything? No, today. she was all right. Threats. So I was in there for about an hour before I even called you guys, or maybe even longer, just trying to let her wind down. But there was no winding down. She mm -hmm. freaking bopped. The fact that I just found out that he cheated on me before I was even pregnant. So he ruined my whole Life. I could have gave my son siblings and met somebody that actually wanted to be with me. But the thing is, I love her. She's my wife. 20 years. I just want her better. But I don't know how to go about it. She, she have a counselor, psychiatrist, or anything? She does, but they don't care. I'm, not, I'm no offense to doctors, but they just don't give a more. She's been going to counselor for years and it don't fix nothing. And I told the counselor and he looked at me like I was stupid. He's like, you should never went to jail. You just protecting yourself to get away from it. And they threw your ass in jail. I was like, yeah. I was like, but it's two people fighting. That's the way it is. So I got charged, had to pay fines, probation, uh, anger management over me trying to get away. So that's why I put those bars on that door frame and made sure I can hide. She just said, I don't care what the f you, I will get your ass. But that's her manic state. She's somewhere way different right now than normal camera. I mean, hell, look at her while she's a buck 30. She's trying to break down the door. It ain't gonna happen. And that's supposed to be a two by four. Now, the first time I did because these were panels. Mm -hmm. So you can just pop a panel out so she broke that but I put OSB reinforced behind this so I made sure she wasn't getting to me. While Tamara was being transported to jail for further questioning she continued to be unapologetic and even claimed she never threatened her husband. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't even threaten him. I didn't touch him. I didn't do anything. So I don't see how you guys just dress the come in somebody's house and turn the door down. I own that I paid for it. I have every right to do what I want. And I didn't threaten that fat mother. But you know what? I tell you what, when I get out of jail, he better not be there because I will him then. That right there, Probably my sure. son was here. She beat her head into this floor. I had to hold her down while the cops was being called. Mm -hmm. She locked him out. He had to bust this open to get in there. Yeah, get to I think it would have been busted before since I was on there. And she was sitting there just like, you ain't get wham and start beating her head in the How many prior domestics does she have? like fully charged domestic violence. I don't think none of them been fully charged. They've been down, they're graded to like assault or whatever. Um, she didn't actually punch you or hit you with the hammer no. or anything, right? Okay. That's why I, I don't want it to happen because that's more on her. Yeah. And it's really not her fault. She's just not her. Is she taking her meds or do you know? 
Uh, I know two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago, she don't like how it makes her tired. So she quit taking it. So I don't know how long she really quit taking it for. Mm -hmm. But I know it just got worse. Is and, she diagnosed with anything or? Uh, probably at least. She's like bipolar, she's schizophrenic. Bipolar. Uh, they, I don't think they ever diagnosed her with schizophrenia, but she's got multiple personalities. Uh, there's like a couple other things. I just, like I said, I work all the time. She don't work. I pay the bills. So I work, come home, dinner, bed, same thing every day. It's all mental health. When she's normal, she's fine. She'll help anybody. Mm -hmm. She'll give someone money if they needed it. She, so she's never violent or no, threatened? not anyone. normally. They could hear me on the phone. I'm sure they could hear I never one time threatened him in any kind of way. Because what I said was when I open the door, he's going to get the out of my house because he's not going to like the me that he sees for domestic violence by threats and I didn't okay. do anything wrong he was on the phone with dispatch on 911 I didn't threaten him though he wouldn't open the door or leave he just went on vacation and on vacation he treated me like I was some embarrassment to him and everything I did was wrong I went for our 20th anniversary and wasted five thousand dollars for him to be a like, he was just criticizing me and judging me the whole time. He just can't handle the fact that I remember anything that he's ever done wrong. Mm -hmm. He has already told me he'll never admit to cheating on me. And all I want is for him to have a conversation with me. You don't have to act like a little kid and put your fingers in your ears. You don't have to threaten me with the police. You don't have to threaten <laughs> with me like you have some kind of power over me. You were hurt on 911 threatening bodily harm to him, yes. No. I told him that. He loves that truck. He loves it more than anything. Mm -hmm. So I destroy that truck. As a consequence of her actions, Tamara was charged with domestic violence, aggravated menacing, and resisting arrest. On October 30th, 2022, a man sought help from the Highlands Police Department, reporting a woman who broke into his house the night before. He said that the woman refused to leave despite his multiple requests. Oh, yeah? She won't leave my house. Okay. And she, I actually think I could leave. Apparently she broke in last night, but I ain't even worried about that. I figured just let her sleep. Asked her to leave. And she got all violent. Pushed me. Go ahead, call the cops. I'll have you arrested. She pushed you? Well, I'm... Yeah, we've been dealing with her for the last couple of days. I don't know what her deal is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's I mean, not right. She's not normal. No, I know. I can tell. She's there's something not. Well, I'm, I'm, her. Yeah. The officers arrived at the house and they were met with a tense scene. The woman, identified as Leah, tried to stall the police intervention as she attempted to appeal to her boyfriend. Look at me, Steve. Did you? No. Hold up. You want to take me to county? Give me a minute. Steve, did you or did you and I not look at me? You can't even look at me here, don't lie. With all due respect, there is no due respect. With all due respect, you have a final you against your mother. Yeah, you? she's not here. She's it doesn't matter. Been. It doesn't matter. This is you her residence. You can break your own restraining order. You guys taught me that. You can break now, your own restraining order. You don't live here. Though. I can you come near my mother. I was looking for her. Steve, did you and I not have the most amazing conversation yesterday when Steve's drinking? And I'm not trying to be mean. You keep I don't really sad. That don't I'm, no, this doesn't I'm not the talking situation. to you. I'm really sad that you are. And I'm not judging you. I really am, Steve. I really am. On my kids, I am. I'm really sad. Okay? I'm not better than you. I have five or whatever years over. Who cares? I, I know that you had more than the time I've known you. Eleven years? Ten? So if that's what you want to don't look at me. So look at this guy, Steve. I know the type of guy you are. I've dated you. I know the type. I know men. Okay? I know. There's a little bit of insecurity in there. I wish you guys would give us privacy, but you can't. Steve, I know you love my mother. I know you love my son. And you know what? I know you love me. In a weird way. Right? You were there when Poppy died. You were there when Nani died. You were there when Dylan was born. That is was born. So if you want to do this to me, have at it, Steve, bro. I've had men throw me down the stairs, Steve. I've had men me men up, Steve. You want to me up? You always say you do, but you never do. Because you, you're a good guy. 
Can you relax ready? for a second? Just relax. Listen. How much? Just listen, I'm, just, I'm trying to make this quick and simple. Me okay. too. I have to leave. I'm so, going to. I have okay. to get my things. Okay. So, so we're serve gonna get your stuff. and protect. Okay. okay. Yeah, so we're going to get your stuff. We are. And we're going to leave. Yeah. Because right now you're trespassing. Okay? Uh, no, I'm not. You are trespassing. No, I'm not. You are not allowed My to. mother's on the lease. Okay. Your mother's not here. Okay. But my mother's and on the lease. And there's a final restraining order. You okay. don't belong here. Her. It doesn't matter. Despite the officer's attempts to de-escalate, Leah turned to the officer and began verbally abusing him. She soon goes back to roasting her boyfriend and even tries to provoke him to beat her. I have a question, because you're ruining you're, all this, and this is how I get arrested. Listen to me, please. How about that, Flores? We've known each other since you were pumping gas in Seabright. Okay. So don't okay. make me start. You started from the bottom two. So just because you're in an outfit, I know I have 20 minutes. I know you have probably you something better to do. Minutes. How long does someone have to gather the things when they live in a residence? Well, when you break into a house in I didn't break in. Did you, you tell in? you I break in? How so, did you get in? Pause. So whatever you wanted to tell them, that's fine. That's you fine. have my car keys? That's fine. Keys? Your car keys? No, I don't have your car keys. I have no car keys. You let the car die, so I can't take it. See, you want to play that game with me? That's fine. Well, if you don't have the keys, how do you know it's done? You got to turn We had a conversation yesterday when you were drunk. That's where I'm going. We had a great conversation when you were sober, and everybody tells Leah when she needs help. Steve, I don't give a f really. If you want to drink and be this guy, I don't care. Can you make sure you see? Okay. Steve, if this is what you want to do, you're a grown man. You are a grown man. That's what you want. This is what he Yeah, that's what I use. I use a credit card and you're already broken. Lock Got better, bro. I'm a felon, remember? Now listen, take care of my mother. Be nice to her. And I know you love Dotson. And I'll then put it back to your mom. I'm the felon. I'm the felon. I know how you will be. Okay? But I'm not going to tell anybody. Because I'm not a runner. So, if that's how you want to treat me, you're doing a horrible job. Do better. Be the out of me. Stop me. Crap. You want to hold the car over me? Hold the house over me? Hold my mother? Couch over me. But when you stayed with my grandfather in Rumson, we got dead, we lived for free. That was sweet, right? Now you got so something. You live for free. I gave him money every month. Yeah, what, 40 bucks? It's semantics. I was family. He was my father. I got everything I wanted. So you want to ruin your life? Ruin it. But you want to call the cops? Call them. That's my new phrase. Do me a favor. I'm leaving, and I'm going to be fine. You, on the other hand, just like Ted. Alone, or maybe with my mother because you can't find anybody better. And you're gonna die sad, alone, just like that mangled cancer has Jackson because you're drinking Steve. You can easily go get that baby, and I know you love him. So, what the f is he doing at Ted's? And those kids, you know, they're hanging out drinking. That's not house. my decision. Didn't man. you tell me? Whoa, 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 yes, you do. Because you're saying, on, man, let's go. didn't I tell you? Didn't you tell me yesterday no, before you started drinking? Didn't you tell me yesterday before you started drinking? Leah. That you were worried about the kids, all of them, everybody, me, Dylan, uh, the other one, Daxton. Did you say that? And then you had a couple beers, and it was get out, get the car. See, I know you love Daxton. Relax. What are you gonna arrest me for? Not listening? Trespassing. Trespassing. Right, I'm leaving, I said already. Okay, Steve, well, let's motivate. Steve, let's go. See, I'm not moving. You're having a cup. Steve, I am. Let's Steve. go. Grab your stuff and let's go. Steve. You're 10 minutes you, into this. Okay. okay. What are you doing, Flores? You're at work. Steve. I don't have all there day to sit here and babysit you. You gotta go. You're it's babysitting. Go. You're being rude and you're prolonging it, Steve. I'm prolonging There's it? There's jumper cables. Listen. I found them. Okay? Not in your and go through your house and break it. I'll teach you how to really lock a house because I'm the fella. Jump the car and go get your grandson, Steve, because he's stuff. with Ted. And if Ted dies and he's there alone, it's on you. Get your stuff. I'm getting my stuff. Then get your stuff and let's go. That's not mine. I know how to listen. Back up. I don't think you're talking to you. What are you gonna rise me for talking to you? Piece of shit. Go ahead. You're a piece of shit. Stop go. following me. All I'm going in the, the bathroom and I'm a woman. I'm getting my stuff and don't smile at me, Flores. Let's go. I am. You wanna see? Let's go, let's go, let's go. And have me stand here and argue with you? I'm going! Inside the house, Leah had an outburst with the officers. She began yelling and ordering them to stop treating her like a psycho. Don't you have like real heroin addicts and real things to do, like Jenna or like all the people I know? See, I went to jail, right, Flores? Hi, 
How are you? How you doing? I'm all right. Nice pants. I like them. I got them hemmed. I like them. Flores. Why? I'm not. Why are you fluorescing me? You don't need to do that to me. I am. Me here. and you have respect for each other. Me and you have respect for each other. So this whole new cowboy. I'm having a hard time. I went to jail because of my mother again. Don't tell me to relax. Well, Once you yeah. got me here, oh, he's hitting the psych. I might end up there. Shh. I'm going through. You're men. You have no idea. No idea. And I know you're married and have a wife and you love her and you have kids. I don't know about you. Be a cop. You're a good cop. So are you. You're all good cops. Except for Roxy. Don't treat me like a psychotic. I'm not trying to treat you like right. a psychotic. Look at how you have me. Look at how you have you have me. If you would just show me respect, this would have been done 20 minutes ago. But I thought you had somewhere to be. Flores, I am a mother without her child, and she. I wasn't yelling at Steve. Yes, you were yelling at Steve. <laughs> You were lecturing Steve. I'm like yelling at you. This is yelling. Okay. I was Where talking to Steve. Let's go. I'm not playing games with Jenny. What are you going to do? I'm going to arrest you. For what? Disorderly, trespassing, let's go. Put it on my tab. I'm taking my time. And you? I don't know if you're having a bad day or just something happened to you. Leah kept on yelling at the officers and even flashed them as she slammed the door in front of them. Get your stuff, let's go. Oh, my God. Really? Yes. Is that, That's is how that, it is. Yes. Is that what you want me to do? Yes. No kidding. You said it 20 times. Okay, so let's go. Don't tell me I'm acting up. Don't tell me I yelled at Steve. I didn't yell at Steve. I'm yelling at you. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, get your stuff. Please. Are you a spectrum? I'm going! Now leave it alone so I can do it. Put a tampon on my uh, you just said you did that. Oh, none of your business. Maybe I put three. Maybe I'm getting ready to go to county and I got to put your dope up my now, Shut up! And like six years ago, when your wife was writing me on Facebook, as you, I didn't even know who the you were. Okay, okay? great. I don't remember Are you ready to go? Yeah. Who are you? Are you ready to go? Why is your wife writing people on Facebook? Are you Look. ready to go? No, I'm not ready! Get the out of my way. I gotta get the out of my way. Because I don't want to get too close to you, boy. Yesterday, back you. Finally, after what seemed like a lot of waiting, the officer decided to arrest Leah. Unfortunately, being placed in cuffs did not change her disruptive behavior. Don't grab me, bro. Let me put... You are so... You're, yo, you're hurting me, I don't bro. care. Drop it. Let me put the... In the bed. Loser. You're such a loser. I'm playing games with you. Games? Yeah. Nah, no, you're done. You see your scream in my face? I Try fasting? Let's go. Get my. No, get, just do Look, there's a medication in there. No, get my. Get your medication. Yo, Kevin, get my stuff. There's meds in there. My mom's sick. I promise. Get my stuff now. Get it. Get your stuff. Now. Please, please pick up that stuff. Since I am homeless and I need it. Oh, and it was this around, so you can let go. You're hurting me. Stop pulling me away. I'm not. Okay. Stop pulling me. You're hurting me. I said, let's go. You're hurting. Are you kidding me? I'm hurting you, bro. You? Go get Dylan Jackson. Stop drinking for the Jackson. I'm going to jail, Steve. Get the f off me. I'm Maybe in the I'm car. Good. After arriving at the police station, the woman continued with her attitude as she demanded her medication. I'm not allowed to give you medication. Inside you are. Let's go. Now. We're not allowed to give you medication. Yes. Oh, God. I know my rights, and it is for me to not act like this, and um, I can take my medication when you get inside. Okay? To a day. Haven't taken it yet. So let's go. Yeah, I know where I'm going. Okay, let's go. I have a bad left. No, I'm not running. And if you can unlock my bad left, please, I'm locking the chair. Here, turn around. Good dog. Get her. May I have a cup of water, please? Yeah, we'll get you guys one. So I'm going to put your hat on the table, is that okay? Yeah, of course. But it's not all over. Be careful. I'd like a tissue, please. Laura. I'll get you. I know I can take my meds. Call your boss. And call my lawyer. I want to call my lawyer right now, please. I'm under arrest for what? You know, Disorderly yeah. and trespassing. Disorderly and trespassing. So he made me disorderly. Put it on my tab. Trespassing. Have a nice day. Can I have a glass of water? Yeah, I'll get you a glass of water. Thank you. I need my meds. Go away. Go away. There you go. Go away. You're Leah. a gender. Leah. Leah. Pushing my butt.
Leo, Leo. Get him out of here. Look at me. Look at no, me. I can't. He's standing over me with his uniform on. Can I? Like you're in her. Get away from me. Leo. Leah kept on lashing out at everyone at the police station. She said that she kept on yelling because she couldn't hit anything. Additionally, she also mentioned that she has anger problems. Sure. Let me get this together real quick. So I don't look crazy. Because I looked good before. A little bit. Without dropping her attitude, Leah demanded to make another call to her family, insisting that she needs to talk to an adult in her house. You guys, can you not tell me when my family's fine? May I please call the adult you're in the home? Lord, the, I need to call that number back. I hung up too quick. I need to call the adult in the home. You just called to me. No, that was, that was three 20 year olds. No, that wasn't Dylan. That was Andrew, his friend. And Emma, you were talking to them all. They were all. I know what I did. They were on speaker. I need to go back. There's an adult in the house. His name's Austin. We're giving you your phone call. We gave you your phone call. I get to. Call cool. your lawyer. Just all right. Stop. I have to. I have to make sure my home is open. I'm just yelling at you. This is going to take my kid. They're drinking, and my kid's a tent. Of course I am. I'm parenting. There's no adult in the house. There's an adult. You thought there was an adult in the house, and there's not. Okay, come on. As consequence of her actions, Leah was charged with criminal trespass, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. On June 17th, 2022, officers responded to an apartment complex to investigate a domestic violence report. Upon arrival at the apartment, they were immediately confronted by a woman identified as Valerie, who was in the midst of an angry outburst and was actively kicking her ex-boyfriend out of the apartment. That's for police permit! Leave my house. Nope. Thank you. She has my bike. Leave. You wanted to be gone. Leave. So we're not going to close the door? I'm not. Yes, I am. This is my home. I didn't open it for you. He did. I am not opening this door to you. Who lives here? I do. So I said no. Nobody's opening the leave? door. The cops here. I do not. Like no, you, no, leave. Okay. And I'm done. My God. No. And what's the relationship? We're exes. Just lost his child. Yeah. Friends. Friends, don't. Please get out of my house. I did not invite you in. I had. You do don't not do have. That. I'm here for you, a domestic case. disturbance. That, no, but you do not have a right to enter okay. my home unless I've invited you. Okay. You no, do not have a warrant. Is, is I did not open my door to you. He opened it to leave. I understand. Then bring your supervisor, but I want him gone. you don't want to talk to me? That's great. I'm not talking and to anybody. that's fine. Okay. I'm done for the night. He can leave. Okay. As he wanted. Goodbye. So there's another option on the way. No. You can tell me that you're not giving me STDs because you're a bitch without a rubber like you promised. You can, I don't know, give me the 120 plus dollars that you owe me, and then I'll give you your bike back. Didn't you guys call the police? I did. Oh, you did. Out of my home! Okay. No, I will get the supervisor now. Don't I did not invite you in. Don't come Officer, near me. Officer, then don't come don't in my come home. Near me. Now. Okay. okay. I'll call 911 again. Do we need okay. to do this? Go, go ahead. Great. Get out of my house, please. Go ahead. Get out of my house. I have by don't, every right in law. You do not have a. Do not no, you do not have a right to come in my home. Touch me. Understand? You, I'm not touching you. But you don't have a right to be in my home without a warrant. Get out, please. You are not invited in by the homeowner. There's another officer. Goodbye. That's great. Please step outside my door. You are now trespassing without a warrant. <laughs> Exit my doorstep now. No, get out of my house. How are you going to threaten me in my house? He is not, I did not invite him in. He is not going to walk in my house. It's a domestic issue. I, does, I did not open that door to him. Okay. He did. No, get out of my house now. You can stand right there and the door will stay open. I don't give a Youngster. Out of my house now. I want your badge number. Card. No, I want the card, please. I didn't invite you to my home and you are breaking the law. You have no right to enter a dwell thing at all without permission. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep it up. I'm gonna keep going? Ma'am, please do not come Do in. not come into my house and tell me what I can and can't do. You are not invited in. I did not give you permission to be here. Now you are trespassing and threatening me. The police spoke with the man who detailed the nature of their relationship and disclosed that Valerie had previously assaulted him. Okay, so what's going on? See, it's trapped in the house. We've argued before. Um, but, uh, she, she's like assaulted me before. Um, obviously, I can't touch her. I can't, you know, I don't want to uh, be physical with her. Whatever. And um, is she your girlfriend? She's like an ex. 
just hang out with friends. And um, she knew I had to go to work this morning at like 5.30. I do house painting. And um, when I started to leave, she just like started going off on me. And just would block the door and just, no, no, you can't do this. Blah, blah, blah. Did it get physical at any point? No. Okay. What no. What is it that you need? Do you just, are you I just, just trying to leave? Like, I was just trying to leave, but she was threatening me. So you um, just want your bicycle? Yes. Okay. What's your name, sir? Please leave my doorway. You do not have a warrant. You are not invited in. You're inside my house. Surprise. Stop. I'm not resisting. You stop. You're you are resisting. resisting. No, right now I am because you're hurting me. Sir. Stop. I will let you handcuff me. Stop. Put your hands behind your back. I've done this before. I will. Your back. Will you stop? Put your hands behind your back. I said I will. You do not need to use excessive force. You're under arrest for resisting and obstructing. Can you please? I'm not going anywhere. Please okay. stop. And we'll get my I have book. babies. Please stop. You are very. Can you please take these off? Put them in the front. Please, I'm not going to run. I have a baby. Please take these off right, of me. We need to go outside. I can't. My son is inside. Let me sit down, please. No, fine. I need to sit down. I have a baby. Right, sit, sit down. Thank sit down. you. Sit down. Can you get the cuffs Those off Those cuffs on coming I off until you're calmed sir, down. Sir, can you listen real quick? Okay. I can calm down if you take these off of me, please. Okay, they're not coming down. Please, sir. With all the commotion happening, a concerned neighbor approached, expressing worry about the welfare of Valerie's children. Sir, can we help you with something? Yes. I'm uh, her downstairs neighbor. I'm willing to know her. I know uh, her kids. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. yes. And okay, they're fine. I'm going gonna, gonna to put an eye on them. I'm willing to know her. I'm going to check on them right now. Sir. How many children does she have? Three. She has three kids. I only see one. I'm, I'm, it's not, I can't. I can't read. Just put it back on this one. Two girls yes. and one boy. Get up. Can I please not have them behind my back? It's just basically we could be in the front. You said if I call She has three children? Yeah. Yes. Do you not hear me speak to you, sir? I said I have three. I have three children. Yeah. I just said the other two she are with somebody for the night. Okay, good. Good. They're coming here at six in the morning. Okay, can I, good. Can I please just take a fat ticket? Anything, please don't please this. I have nothing but them. So only one child is in here, sir. Hey. Listen to me, okay? I no, that's perfect. If Thank you calm you. down for me, these if are going to come off. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Can you understand that? You're I'm the one PTSD yelling at us, okay? I'm having a PTSD triggers right I now. I need you to stop. I am not trying to be out of control. Okay. I am really Breathe. just having serious PTSD issues. Breathe. Breathe. If you want medical attention, we can do it for you. No, I want, I want to sit right here. Just Please stop. Right stop. Right there. stop. Just don't yell anymore. Then you guys have to stop jumping down my throat. Okay. I've done nothing wrong. I put okay. no hands on anybody. Okay. Everything's going to be all right. We're all on camera here. Nothing's gonna happen. Right then, I want to know. I want. Nothing's gonna happen. The way he treated Relax. me came in my home. Can I explain to you something? Can I talk? So when it's a domestic related issue. You do not okay? have a right to search my things. Okay. He, he needs to stop. Uh, we, no, I but uh, I understand. Okay. Hold on real quick. But I, I, can I, I talk to you? you? Yes. Yes, but I have a question about what you're explaining. Can it, I finish explaining to you? Oh, I'm gonna answer your question. Yeah, I'll probably forget the question. Just listen to me. Okay. He, can he stop searching my things? Mm -hmm. I have every right for him to stop. He needs if to stop. Any domestic related issue, we are a hundred percent. We can come into your house, investigate what we need to. I did not house. open the door to him. It doesn't matter. It doesn't it'll matter. warrant to my home. No, not when it's a domestic related issue. Okay, but he does not have a right to search my things okay. or my home. Okay. Without my permission. Because you have kids here. We have one. to check their well-being. That's great. He's okay? alive. He's sleeping. And that's the reason why we went in the great. room to go check so on them. So he's also okay? opening my things. Okay. He does not have a right to do if that. If you are cooperative with us. I am cooperating. I'm just saying, okay? why does he need to I, go through my things then? That, that has nothing to do with the domestic disturbance. Okay. That has nothing to do with my child. Can he please stop going through my things? Okay. And just that's why I'm asking you. Relax. Can he please? Relax. Can he please stop going through my things? Relax for me. I'm really trying. Your okay. Officer, can, can I get your name? A cigarette? Can I get your information? I gave it to you. Okay. He, can Do you he have go a away? I, I'm very intimidated and threatened yeah. by him. I need her 49. Okay. I will get, give can you. Can I get your first and last name? I will now. give you everything if he goes outside my door. I'll give you whatever you want if that man will go outside my door, please. Were you up here earlier, sir? I'm sorry? Were you up here earlier? No. Huh? Okay. Is there anything else that we can help you with? I want to make sure her kids are going to be all right. Yeah, as a matter of fact. You know, when they're going to come back from wherever they are and stuff uh -huh. like that, uh, I need to know if the. the She's going to be here for them and stuff, or anybody's going to be here for yeah, them. Yeah, she's going to be here for them. She's she's not going to jail. All she's going to get is a ticket, okay? Okay. Okay, so thank you. The ex-boyfriend wanted to retrieve his bike, and the officers helped him, while Valerie refused to respond to the officers' inquiries. She persistently requested to have the handcuffs removed, 
arguing that they were triggering her PTSD. Where's, where's Gilbert's bike? I, I think it's that electric, that blue electric scooter. Ask him if it's a blue electric scooter. Is it a blue electric scooter? It's a black uh, Jetson scooter. Black Jetson scooter? Black, yeah. Okay, but no, that you said they'd come off if I calm down. Okay. I'm calm. I don't this need is, your social. This is a PTSD trigger. Can we please respect that? Okay. I really just, like we to do respect that. Can you down, handcuff okay? me to the table then? The reason you're in the handcuffs is because your behavior when we arrived. Okay, it wasn't okay. my behavior, it was the officer's behavior who was threatening me. Okay, well when I walked in you weren't letting him explain anything to you, you were just yelling in his face. Because so that officer have wasn't to... explaining anything, he was gritting his he teeth in my face to. and said I'm going to take him to jail. He had no way to explain it, you were yelling over him. Can I put him in front of me? No, we're not allowed to do that. That's that's just a policy. Can, okay, thing. can you help me light a cigarette? Cause that, is that it? Can I please just have a cigarette? That. That's where all you, I really want them all for. Where, where are your cigarettes at? Oh, uh, well, they the were, yep, 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 please. Oh, where's the bike? Can just you, tell me. I, if you could just help me up, I'll help you get it. Like, I'm not, I don't want to fight. I just, okay. Just, just have a seat. We'll get it. Right, it's, yeah? My son's back there. Can I at least be by the curtain? Yeah, we'll get in a minute. Let's, let's, Lighter's let's, right let's there. Let's help you relax, though, okay? Right. And it should just be, I don't want that other guy back in here, but it's right back to the blanket. That's fine. Just take a seat, smoke that, relax a little I bit. obviously so can't get you anything. It's not a New Mexico ID. Will you give him your social? You said you said I just it to gave me. it. Where is it from? Colorado. Valerie shared details of her relationship with the man, claiming she was holding onto the bike until he repaid the money he owed her. Can you give me a rundown of what the story is? Why we're here? The man's forty-two years old and got me pregnant. <laughs> okay. And. Moved him out of his trailer. He was cheating on me. Still helped him. He lived with me. How long have you, have you guys been back? At we place? were, yeah, pretty much for over a year. A year. Okay. He owes me money, and I literally asked him, "If you're gonna be the people, can you please wear condoms?" Mm -hmm. He refused to answer. I said, "That's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. That is my body too. Sure. I have every right to know." Yeah. He's like, I, "I'm not dealing with this," and tries to leave. And I'm like, "Do you need to at least give me that?" That's okay. it. Oh, you're threatening me. You're trying to keep me here. I was like, "Because I want to really so answer." Was this, was this today that this the, argument yeah, happened? Okay. Just now. So what? What? Did he have the bike here and you kicked him out or what, what exactly I told happened? him, I was like, I can, I'll keep the bike until you pay me my $120 plus that you said you pay me did, did, for was, months now. Did he leave on his own or did you make him leave or what, what happened? He, the cops knocked and he was like, answer the door. I was like, I'm not answering the door. He answered right the door and I said, go. Got you. Then the cops stepped in my house and threatened me. Understood. Okay. Valerie, so this Please is... Just, just Val. Or just Val. This is what's going to happen. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick explanation. Okay? Those cuffs are going to come off. I'm not, not going to do what, anything crazy what, on my children. What, once not. we're done, Valerie, okay? That's For fine. right now, they're going to stay on, okay? I just need to get a little more information. I need to get, you have two girls and a boy, right? I really... I just need to get their names, date of birth. Why do you need that? I, they're I not involved it. in this case. I need it because they're in the household. Is CPS okay? being called? Anybody who's Is in the CPS. household? Is CPS... I heard you. I asked you a question, though. Okay. I'm not ignoring yours, okay. but I asked you a question. Okay. Are you calling CPS? We're just making a report. Valerie expressed her concern about the officer's intention to file a report with Child Protective Services. Sir, real quick, on um, what you are reporting accusational-wise to CPS, please. Uh, reference to a domestic disturbance then. And so what does that conclude with CPS, I guess? Does that open a whole case? It's just for their information. So it's, it's up to them. It's really okay. up to them. Okay. okay. Thank that's, no, I appreciate, I just need to know. Yeah. Just need to know. Is it Nicolette with two T's? Yes. Double T? I'm a very literal autistic girl, so please don't say they're going to come off once I give you that info, if they're not. Okay. I'm just waiting for I know, but I'm saying you have to understand that's a lie to me. Okay. You said as soon as I give you that info, they'd come off. No, I told you once we're done here, they're going to no, come off. No, you said, I asked you once I give you the names, you said they'd come off. No. Once we're done here, they're gonna. Then we're done. Off. I've yeah. given you everything. We're not done. My partner still is working on some and stuff. Can... Okay. I'm not trying to argue. I'm no. Being calm. I'm just saying. Can I speak, please? You've been like this the whole night, and this is what started. We're gonna take the handcuffs off. And then you're gonna I'm gonna have you sit down, and I'm gonna explain the citation to you, can okay? You and these charges. So I can smoke a cigarette sure. Uh, Absolutely. I wish you would have done, done this the first time. Sir, you threatened me in my home. That's how I felt. You may not have perceived it that way. But that, that way I felt, and it would not have happened that way. So please, maybe next time, just take down the cop back attitude because it would have gone a lot differently. So it can. I'm a very reasonable person. The next time the police respond, especially in reference to a domestic disturbance. This isn't even a domestic okay. disturbance. He's a pansy. And I'm a cigarette. So why am I getting a ticket? So you're getting a ticket for resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer during uh, an investigation, okay? Okay. Can you understand? As a mama bear, I felt threatened. I think Man. And that's really where it was. I have this man who's knocked me up and lied and abused me and my children. 
and I just wanted paid. As a consequence of her actions, Valerie was charged with domestic disturbance and resisting or obstructing. She was also given a citation in lieu of arrest with a promise to appear in court. Let us know in the comments what you think. Did the officers do the right thing by giving out a citation given the charges? On October 6, 2022, officers responded to a domestic violence incident. When the police arrived at the scene, they were immediately met by an extremely agitated woman identified as Chelsea. Nope, come here, come talk to me. Thing wrong. This is my yard. You better okay. go talk to him first. No, I'm gonna talk to you. No, first. not me yes. first. I've been done called through two times. Turn around. No, you you. Turn around. No. Turn around. This is my my landlord's right there. I don't care. Look, he's right there. Just hang tight. He's right there, man. Put your hands behind your back. No. Nah, you're in my yard, you know that, right? I don't right? care, turn around. I don't have a warrant. All right, you're recording. You're recording. I know I am. Look, right there. Put your hands behind your back. No, tell him. Get off of me. Give us your hands. Awesome. No. Your hands. No. You didn't want to give it to him. Hey. We're gonna tilt you on your side if you're gonna be decent. You gonna be decent? You guys are. Hey! Uh, that's not necessary. Do you, want, do you want to sit up? Let me up! Only if you're gonna be decent. You gotta tell me you're gonna be decent. Well, come on! Huh? You gonna be decent? Stupid. Hey! You think it's funny? I had your first police officer. You're out of Breath, ain't you? Not me. Uh, I bet you're officer. The first one, he couldn't even know me. It's like riding a cow. Oh, oh, you. Fuck <laughs> 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 you. Chelsea admitted to the officers that she had punched the man because she wanted him to leave her house. I've been wanting this dude out of my house. Okay. I've been wanting that. Looks like he's moving. Is that his trail? No. And then Julian took my. Key to my house. Julian. Yes, yeah, like Julian Williams. Yeah, she probably heard. So I hit him two times, three times in the mouth. I did. You hit him? Hell yeah, I hit him. I popped him in his mouth. Hell yeah. Okay, when you're yelling, I can't really hear you all that well. I popped him. Yeah, I did. Like, oh, he's bad. Seen somebody else? And I don't. I don't even care about him. Ah! Commissary. I'm trying to talk I'm to it. you, but you yell at me. That's what it is. What's up? I'm it. <laughs> I'm up. Let me up. Just relax. No, let me up. No, because you're not in charge here. F you. This is my house. Public sidewalk. Public sidewalk. All right, Chelsea. Hop on up. Right, one, two, three. There we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Hold good? on. And look, he has my key. This is my house. Okay. Nobody's allowed here. There's no bond. Why is there no Sorry. bond? Because it's the Ward County. How is it Ward County? I don't know. I didn't yeah, know. A district court judge signed it. Yeah. No, it's not. Yep. Don't push Nobody's me. Nobody's pushing. Yes, you. he did. Hey, no. down. Hey, I need my phone. Yeah, it's in your bag. We put it in your bag. No, it's not. I need to see it. No, it's not. He threw it. It's no, on the ground. He threw it. You see it right there? Dude, what are you hitting? What are you dropping me like that? Get in the car. Stop. Scoot over. The officers then spoke with the man who described the nature of their relationship. The officers informed him that they intended to gather his statements in order to press charges against Chelsea. I'm not even digging. I'm not even sleeping with her. I've just been staying here because I just okay. broke up with my girl just a week ago. So you've been staying here at least a week? Yeah. Okay. But you're yeah, not in a relationship or nothing? No, she no, we're not. We're not. No, we're legitimately. We, I haven't even slept with her not one time. She so, is mad about it too. What I would like to do is I'd like to get a statement from you about the getting punched in the face. It's your decision. I, yeah. uh, I would like to take a photo, but that is also your decision. It is a domestic situation because you live together, even if it's only for a week. So we are arresting you on that domestic. You know what I mean? Like, I don't- You guys just do the more and just leave the domestic no. We can. But... Ah! 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 
You're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> what for? <laughs> Don't make it worse. <laughs> Stop it. You don't need to do that. Chelsea. I care about him. I care about him. I understand that. I care about him. Well, don't hurt yourself because you care about him. I have to. You don't have to hurt yourself. Yes, I do. No. Look at that gentleman. Chelsea was visibly distressed as she explained to the officers that she cared for the man and wanted him to know that she was, once again, allowing him to stay at her house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to yeah. tell him one more time that you love him or whatever you got going on? You care about him? He can, he can be in my house. He can be at your house? Yeah. We're going to get you to the hospital checked out, okay? You can be in my house. While being transported, Chelsea began banging her head against the interior of the vehicle and continued to display signs of emotional distress. They need to shut up! Chelsea, what's going on with you? I don't know! You've never been like this when I've been out with you. Come here, look at me. Look at I don't me. know. Let me fix your hair for you. Just look at me. Chelsea, come on. I'm trying to help you here. Are you okay? No! Uh, I don't know what's wrong. What's up? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. Are you still using or no? Um, yes, but okay. I use that pretty much every day. That's not it. Okay. My voice is... Okay. Are you taking any medications for No. It? Okay. Did you get tackled to the ground? I don't need no photos. No, well, he's no, fine. I don't. I, I understand. But I just I, want to make sure it's that all you're my fault. I'm fine. Okay, but you don't have scratches or cuts or nothing. No, not okay. by him. Well, do me a no. favor. I have to take at least a couple, and uh, one or two. Okay? It wasn't his fault. It's not. It has nothing to do with him. All right, this is just what we have to do. Okay? It's my fault. It's a... Okay, that's fine. Do I get medication to calm me down? So right now we're just getting you medical clearance before we head over to the jail. Okay. I need my medicine to calm me down. I understand. Is your medicine at your house? No. Okay. You don't have any prescribed to you? No. Okay. Yes, I do. I have it. But I haven't been taking you my medication. Okay. But you can help me. But what can I do though? I'm so limited at work. But I'm not like this. And you know this. You know this. You're right. I absolutely do. You can help me. As a consequence of her actions, Chelsea was charged with domestic violence and resisting arrest. If the body cam footage wasn't enough, the charges, court dates, and arrests should prove that violence should never be the answer. We've got more body cam bust videos we think you'll like, so stick around and keep on watching.